uh, if you look at the D block elements, you'll find that for scandium, we've done scandium earlier, the last thing you write is D1. Okay, so 4S2 after 4S2, 3D1. So you can see the pattern. For titanium, the next one's going to be D2. So that goes all the way to D10. So if I have to do for zinc, what would it be? Zinc would have okay, the noble gas just before it, argon, 4, and then 4S2, and then 3D10. Okay? What would it be for manganese? Manganese is over here. So this is D1, D2, D3, D4, D5. So manganese will have an argon core, 4S2, 3D5. Okay? Now, what about yttrium down here? Okay, that comes after, so you go back, it comes after krypton, so it's going to have a krypton core. And then you're a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you're in the fifth column now. So 5S2, I mean fifth row, fifth period, 5S2. After 5S comes, 4D. Remember, this is 3D. The next row is going to be 4D. So 4D1. Okay? And then zirconium after that is going to have 4D2 and so on. 